Great honor to be inducted in this Internet Hall of Fame. I don't do it as my name alone. I do it of all the Peruvians who work in this network we built in the 90s. We learn very good the teaching of Randy Bush sometime when he teaches technology with love and with a poetic, hippie, and repentant words. And uh, we create with that a vision. That vision was make a network for all nations. In that time, in Latin America, we have only academic networks for one side. On the other side, we have only NGO networks. Sometimes, some government have one network. But we don't have the model of a national network. That means take everybody into the internet. And the message we received in that time was internet is generosity, internet is interrelation between people, internet is negotiate with other people to have links, to have nets, to have uh, some servers somewhere. Then we applied that in our country. We talk with uh, doctors, librarians, universities, NGOs, government, and we put everybody together. But we realized something. We have all the software in English. Then we decide we must do something about that. Then we translate everything we know in Spanish to the people of the big cities in our country. But we was a country of 40, 000, 40 million people in that time. And we have only 400,000 computers. We don't have enough to make an internet for everybody in the 90s. Then we decide we're going to do something who allows people to come paying a very little uh, money to have access to the internet, and we create something what it was, uh, we don't discover nothing. We, we make what we call in Spanish cabinas públicas. Then we have a network, UUCP network, connected with Randy Bush in, in the United States, talking two, two times a day, uh, sending information. We say, but we need to do something more. Then we begin to negotiate and we make something. The technician says, you cannot do it. You cannot make internet with satellite. We do it. Other technicians tell us, you cannot do internet using radio. We use radio to communicate the Indians in the Amazonian forests. Other technicians say you cannot use cellular phones to communicate because it's not going to work. We do it also. Then we have some technical achievements also who was very important for our region because we don't begin with the technology to teach people technology. We begin with the problem of the people and we use technology to solve these problems. One of these problems was also with million people talk Quechua, which is an Indian language in our country. And together, all the people who work in this network begin to see how we can do to involve also this community into the internet. Then we involve some prof professors uh, in, in Quechua, and we begin to translate content in uh, Quechua and involve all the Indians, uh, the, the communities in different uh, regions of our country. Then we have a lot of achievements, but is that only the work of one people? As it was said here, is the work of many people, the unknowing people who are not here today, but I feel I need to represent. That is the thousand Peruvians. We receive help at the beginning from Randy Bush, 
from Steve Goldstein, from a Costa Rican, uh, Ted Hope, who helped us to install the first servers in Peru. But after that, we asked uh, to train our own very young engineers to they learn where the information was. For us, it was not a, a technological problem. For, for us, it was a knowledge problem. We need that knowledge, and we spread this knowledge on, even in the very, very fond of uh, the Amazonian forest. I, I can uh, ask, uh, I, I, lo, lo voy a decir en español, podría decir que quiero eh, estar agradecido con los miles de peruanos y latinoamericanos que nos ayudaron a construir también los organismos de gobierno de Internet que juntos construimos en esos años 90, donde era muy difícil trabajar eh, con las empresas que querían mantener sus eh, monopolios. De todas maneras, esas luchas dieron como resultado el Internet que tenemos hoy. Uh, and we are very happy about that.